of the Rock House Free Will Baptist Church, I'd like to welcome you to our Christmas play. Just like everything else in 2020, it's a little different this year. And while it may not be the play that we were hoping for or that we wanted, it still turned out to be something that we're very proud of. While there are many things that are different, some things remain the same, such as the true meaning of Christmas, the birth of our Savior Jesus Christ. Just like every other year, the kids have come together and put their whole heart into this production. And like every year before, it's been such a joy to help them do it. I hope you've enjoyed watching and get a Christmas blessing out of it. Merry Christmas. Let us pray. Dear God, thank you for allowing us this opportunity to celebrate the birth of Jesus Christ. We ask that you bless this place so that each person watching may be blessed. We are living in troubled times and we know that only you can get us through this. Amen. given unto the world a lot to guide our feet into the way of peace. In him was law, and the law was the light of man, and the light shineth in darkness, and the darkness comprehended it not. And the light said, I am the light of the world. Let us receive the gifts of the light of the world. I'm the light of faith. Faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. If you have faith at the size of a mustard seed, you will be able to remove every mountain of difficulty. I give in to you this wonderful gift, the light of faith. I'm the light of hope. Hope is a firm expectation of all promised good things, so far as they may be, for God's glory and our good. The hope of the world is uncertain, but divine hope in Jesus is a most certain promise. The Heavenly Father is our eternal hope. I give unto you the light of hope. I'm the light of brotherhood. Jesus taught it was not enough to love those who love us. Anyone can do that. He said if we do good to them that do good to us, what thanks have we? Sinners also do even the same. But if we love our enemies and do good and land hoping for nothing again, then our reward should be great. I give unto you my wonderful gift, the light of brotherhood. I am the light of truth. That you shall know the truth, the truth will make you free. Thank you, my wonderful gift, the light of truth. I am the light of blessedness. Blessedness means happiness. The sermon on the mountain. The master gives the charter of happiness, blessingness. Are ye in the beatitudes, may light of blessingness add abundant to your living. I give you my wonderful gift, the light of blessingness. I am the light of goodness. Jesus said to be good. I give to you. I give to you this wonderful gift and the light of goodness. I am the light of comfort. Jesus, who is our Lord, Savior, Master, and Teacher, is also our comforter. I have found him in times of distress and sadness when my heart was lonely. Blessed they are that mourn, for they shall be comforted. You will receive joy with this gift I give unto you. My wonderful gift, the light of comfort. peace. The angel of God sang to shepherds long ago, peace on earth, goodwill among men. I give unto you my wonderful gift, uh, the light of peace. I am the light of Christmas candles. We are light Christmas candles. I'm the light of cheer. I'm, it's someone's birthday, and that's why we're here. I'm really glad you're present to, to share the cheer. I give for you my wonderful gift, the light of cheer. 
hung loud Christmas candles, a symbol of rare love from heaven. I give them to the world for the loud cross. I am the light of wisdom. It is said that the spiritual wisdom of God is the knowledge of humility. Wisdom is one of the attributes of God. I give unto you my wonderful gift, the light of wisdom, to make brighter and more humble each living hour. I know what Christmas bells. When you build it, when Jesus, oh right. Maybe Jesus was born. These are gifts that give light to the heart, light to live by. These gifts are from the Heavenly Father. Let them remain within you and let them bring you joy and blessedness. Thanks to God for his unspeakable gifts. And it came to pass in those days that there went a decree from Caesar Augustus that all the world should be taxed. And this taxing was first made when Cyrenius was governor of Syria. And all went to be taxed, everyone in his own city. And so it was that while they were there, the days were accomplished that she should be delivered. And Joseph also went up from Galilee out of the city of Nazareth into Judea unto the city of David, which is called Bethlehem, because he was of the house and lineage of David, to be taxed with Mary, his espoused wife, being great with child. And it was so that while they were there, the days were accomplished that she should be delivered. And she brought forth her firstborn son and wrapped him in swaddling clothes and laid him in a manger, because there was no room for them in the inn. And there were in the same country shepherds abiding in the field, keeping watch over their flock by night. And lo, the angel of the Lord came upon them, and the glory of the Lord shone round them, they were, and they were sore afraid. And the angel said unto them, Fear not, for behold, I bring good tidings of great joy, which shall be to all people. For unto you born, is born this day in the city of David a Savior, which is Christ the Lord. And this shall be a sign unto you. You shall find the babe wrapped in swaddling clothes lying in a manger. And suddenly there was with an angel a multitude of the heavenly host praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest and on earth peace, good will toward men. And it came to pass, as the angels were gone away from them into heaven, the shepherds said one to another, Let us now go even into Bethlehem, and see in the things which is come to pass which the Lord hath made known unto us. And they came with haste, and found Mary and Joseph and the baby lying in a manger. And when they had seen it, they made known abroad the same which was told them concerning this child. And all they that heard it wondered at those things which were told them by the shepherds. But Mary kept all these things and pondered them in her heart. And the shepherds returned glorifying and praising God for all the things that they heard had heard and seen as it was told unto them now when jesus was born in bethlehem of judea in the days of herod the king behold there came wise men from the east of jerusalem saying where is he that born king of the jews for we have seen his star in the east and are come to worship him when they saw the star, they rejoiced with exceeding great joy. And when they were come into the house, they saw the young child with Mary, his mother, and fell down and worshipped 
him, and when they had sent unto him gifts, gold, and frankincense, and myrrh, and being warned of God in a dream that they should not return to Herod, they departed into their own country another way. And when they were departed, behold, the angel of the Lord appeared to Joseph in a dream, saying, Arise, and take the young child and his mother, and flee into Egypt, and be thou there until I bring thee word, for Herod will seek the young child to destroy him. When he arose, he took the young child and his mother by night and departed into Egypt. This isn't snowy gifts or glittering decoration. It's honoring our Savior, Jesus Christ, in humble adoration. It's taking what we would have spent on things that no one needs and using it to help someone with service and good deeds. So let's remember Christmas is about our Savior's birth. That's the way that happiness, the way to peace on earth. Merry Christmas to all. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas, everyone. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Have a have a very jolly day. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas, everyone.